Hi, hello, once more, and welcome back to my week 11 NFL prediction video series for my 2022 NFL predictions. Back here after going 4 and 3 in week 10, after 7 and 0 in week 9, 4 and 3 puts me at 45 and 25 going into week 11. Seven matchups on the table this week, all of them are pretty good matchups to watch. Plus, we have a new first place team in the AFC East this week, which looks like they're, they're going to have a good game this weekend. That's the first one on the docket this week, but we also have the Bills, who lost another time to the Vikings last week. And we also have the Vikings, who are playing Dallas this week as well on the predictions. So with that being said, it's time to get into the Week 11 NFL prediction videos right here, right now. So let's get started, everyone. Back here for Week 11. Yeah, back here, Week 11, finally. Oh, sorry about that. My finger's all over the lens today. <laughs> Not happy about that. So here we go. Week 11, first matchup in the New York Jets and the New England Patriots this week. And like I said, the Jets are now the new first place team in the AFC East. And they're playing the New England Patriots coming up on Sunday. The Jets, you know, now, because the Bills lost last week uh, to the Vikings in overtime, the Jets take over first place for now. It's 7-2. and two. It's 6-2. Seven and two for now, and the for, for now. But who knows? This matchup could be a good matchup. The Jets, Zach Wilson, and the Jets this year look like they're a playoff team this year for once. The Jets, Dolphins, and the Bills. Who could have saw that coming? I didn't see that one coming at all. Patriots are playing below par from their wild card season a year ago with Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi, but two different quarterbacks splitting the games at quarterback this season. This matchup, I kind of like the Jets to go on the road to New England, but in the November matchup in New England, you never know. November matchups, late October, November matchups in New England, you might have like a foot of snow on the ground or a snow game in November in New England, but I'm going to predict the Jets this week to get the win on the road. And I think the Jets, they look a pretty good team so far this year, a first place team for now. I think they can maintain that for a few more weeks, at least until they play the Bills. Again, later on in the season, I'm taking the Jets this week in Week 11 over the Patriots. Moving on to our next matchup in Buffalo. Yes, like I said, the Bills lost last week. This week, they have the Cleveland Browns and coming into town against them. So Jacoby Brissett and the Browns going into Buffalo, New York against Josh Allen. The Bills, this is going to be a revenge game for them after losing an overtime to the Vikings by a field goal. By three points, like a field margin, and Josh Allen throw that pick to the Vikings at the end of the game. This is going to be a revenge game for the Bills, no matter what. I think the Bills are a pretty good team. Josh Allen won. He has all kinds of receivers. The Browns, they're not good this year. They don't have Deshaun Watson. He's going to be their starting quarterback. He'll be back week 13 after a bye week for the Browns. <clears throat> but, you know, the Browns and Bills, the Bills are a great team this year in the NFC, AFC East. I really think the Bills still are the Super Bowl champion. It's a team that represents the AFC out of the Super in the AFC for the Super Bowl. You know, I might have my favorite team, the Kansas City Chiefs, play them in the playoffs, but we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, the Bills and Browns. This matchup, I like the Bills way better, way much more than the Browns for this matchup because the Browns don't have much. The Bills have a lot of weapons. I think they'll it's a revenge game for the Bills, so they're gonna obviously get a win here in this matchup. Hopefully, we'll have to wait and see what happens in that matchup coming up in week eleven. Which we're moving on now to Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, this one. Next one in Baltimore, the Ravens and the Carolina Panthers. So Baker Mayfield going in against Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. By the way, Baker Mayfield just named Carson quarterback this week because P.J. Walker is out hurt. Yeah, and knowing the Panthers and the Bills, Ravens. Ravens are first place team in the AFC North. And we shouldn't count the Ravens out of the NFC North this year to win this division. Ravens look like they're going to run away with the AFC North at the moment. Steelers, Bengals, and Browns all below 500 at the moment. And the Bengals and Steelers game was moved out of Sunday Night Football for Kansas City LA this week with the Chargers and Chiefs coming up later on in the predictions here. But look, the Panthers, what do they have to prove to people? Are they, Baker Mayfield, really the quarterback in Carolina after getting traded this offseason by Cleveland, is Baker Mayfield really going to lead the Panthers to a Super Bowl? I don't think so. 
I like the Ravens in this matchup because Lamar Jackson, he can do everything you ask of a team like him. He can run the ball, he'll throw it, he'll pass, he'll do anything. Ravens, give me the Ravens with that one and the win there. Moving on to our next matchup in New York. With the Giants against the Detroit Lions, Jared Goff and the Lions coming in to play Daniel Jones with the Giants. Giants, yes, they're a team, second place in the division in the, AFC, in the NFC East. Lions, dead last in the NFC North, of course. Like, boom. Right, like right there with the Bears, pretty much. On a low level, as a Bears fan, it's pretty hard to watch the Bears this season so far. I haven't watched the last few weeks. I've been traveling the last few weeks, so I haven't been watching the game, Bears game, so I think it's a good thing because they lost twice in the last few weeks. So, yeah, the Giants, Daniel Jones with the Giants. I think the Giants are a much better team in this matchup. Daniel Jones, he did lose Kadarius Toon into Kansas City. He scored his first career touchdown in Kansas City over the weekend with my home's touchdown pass. But the Giants, they look like a team to me that can stay awake, stay away, stay in it for a while with the Eagles and Cowboys, I think. But I think the Giants will fall apart eventually. I'm not sure it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be this week, though. But I think the Giants will get the win against the Lions and Jared Goff. The Lions just aren't a team that's a satisfaction to me to get a win this season. And I think that's going to be the same next week. And the week for the Thanksgiving Day game on Thursday for the Lions next week. Next Thursday, next Tuesday, we'll have the NFL prediction videos. All the Thanksgiving Day games will be in the prediction video next week. So stay tuned for that by the way. But I'm taking the Giants over the lines this week. Moving on. Dallas and Minnesota. The Vikings in first place look like they're a true NFC North contender with Kirk Cousins and the Cowboys. So, here's the deal. Last week was my first week picking against the Vikings. First season, I picked the Bills to beat the Vikings. Previously, I picked the Vikings. I'm 3-1, I think. Or 4-1, I picked. Four. Either 3-1 or 4-1 on my pick. 4-1. One or four and one of my pick the Vikings this year. Hard to get those words out of my mouth. So there that's my thing with the Vikings this year. I'm picking them a lot. They're the new team to pick. Last year the Packers and Buccaneers were always on the videos. We haven't had the Green Bay or Tampa Bay this year a lot at all. But you know, the Vikings are first place team in the NFC North. Cowboys in third in the NFC East. I think this might be a revenge game for Dallas and Dak Prescott coming into Minnesota. I think the Vikings and Kirk Cousins will do what they can at home on home turf to get a win. But ultimately, I think this will be the Vikings' second loss of the year against Dallas this week. And I think Dak Prescott and the Cowboys will prove that the Vikings, even though they're first place team, can they stay with one loss? I don't think they will. I think the Cowboys will do some damage after coming off an overtime loss to Green Bay. On Sunday in Green Bay, I think, they, I think the Cowboys do not let... And an NFC North home team intimidate them this time around. So I'm taking Dak Prescott and the Cowboys with the win there on Sunday. Moving on, Sunday night football. Like I said, this one's been moved to Sunday night. It was supposed to be in the afternoon. They moved the Bengals and Steelers out of Sunday night football on this one. And you get the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, my favorite team, my favorite quarterback in the league to watch. Patrick Mahomes, all he can do is win. Former MVP, former Super Bowl champion with the Chiefs against Justin Herbert and the LA Chargers. This matchup on the road, though, this time around. Earlier this year, these two teams played. The Chiefs got the win. The Chiefs got the win the last time around when these two teams played each other. And I think we'll be looking at this matchup again this week. Thinking, okay, can't see LA. It's going to be a matchup the second time around. If you look back at the same earlier this year, these two teams met in Kansas City way back when. If I look at that, I think I might have predicted that. I have to go back way to week all the way to week one, I believe. Of this year. Or week two. Not week one. Okay, week two it was. Early back in week two, I predicted the Chargers to win in Kansas City. I was wrong. Chiefs won 27-24 on Thursday night football. I, the only reason I picked the Chargers to win that game earlier this season was because last season, the Chargers won in Week 3 in Kansas City on the road. This year, though, I'm going to do the opposite again this time around. I'm going to take the road team, Kansas City Chiefs, and Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes because 
I think the Chargers playing at home, Sunday Night Football, can they get a win? You know, if the Chargers are going to win, they're going to make the NFC, they're going to make the AFC playoff race for the division champion of the AFC West this year. Pretty good, but the Chargers only have like a 57% chance to make it. I think they're playoffs as a second place team. But I like Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes because last time, last year, Chargers won in Kansas City. Kansas City won in LA. I think the Chiefs do that this time. They won in LA this time around in week 11. So I'm taking the Kansas Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, my favorite team. So there. I, I, I don't play favorites all the time, but I will this week, though. Which moves us on to our Sunday night, Monday night game in Mexico City. Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers are coming off a big Sunday night football win against against the who did they play last week. Yeah, who did the 49ers play? I got that one right there. I got that one right. If I remember correctly. They won on Sunday night. Yeah, coming off of the win on Sunday against the Chargers. 22-16. Okay, Chargers. Back back weeks on Sunday night football. I think they get a loss. I predicted that a minute ago. But you know, can't this time it's the Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers against Arizona in Mexico City for Monday Night Football. Question is, is Kyler Murray starting? Don't know. I predicted Colt McCoy and the Cardinals to get a win in LA last week. I was right on that. Both these teams I predict, think, predicted to win last week. Both won. There you have that storyline. Okay, so this one, I kind of like the 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo playing against the Cardinals this week this matchup only because San Francisco looks like they're going to be they look look like they're going to make some noise in the NFC West this year for now and I think the 49ers might be the team that gets past Seattle to win the division at this moment potentially we'll have to wait and see though Arizona if Kyler Murray doesn't start you could give them an automatic L loss with Colt McCoy starting even though we got one last week against the Rams in LA I do like the 49ers in this matchup, and I'm going to pick them to win. So, 49ers with the Cardinals this week. Okay, with that being said, it's time to go over the recap of the picks. First off, I'm picking Zach Wilson and the Jets over New England and whoever they start quarterback in Buffalo. I'm picking the Bills and Josh Allen over Baker Mayfield and the Panthers to get a. No, I'm picking Josh Allen over the Browns and Jacoby Brissett, unfortunately, wrong team, to get a win. In Buffalo, New York, in Baltimore, I pick in Lamar Jackson, the Ravens over Baker Mayfield and the Panthers. In New York with the Giants and Lions, I pick in Daniel Jones with the Giants to get a win over Jared Goff and the Lions. Okay. And then in Minnesota, I'm picking Dak Prescott to get a revenge win against an NFC North team on the road and Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. In LA with the Chargers and the Chiefs, I'm picking Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Go to LA Chargers on Sunday Night Football and beat Justin Herbert and show Justin Herbert which team is the pride of the AFC West just here. And on Monday Night Football, I'm taking Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers against the Cardinals. Depending who starts their quarterback, of course. If Colt McCoy starting, I'm taking the 49ers. So, that being said, that's my week 11 NFL predictions. That being said, yeah, I will be back next week for week 12. Please also comment below who your favorite team is playing and if you think they're going to win in week 12. 11 here. With that being said, I will see you in the Week 12 NFL predictions right back here next Tuesday for you all. On Tuesday, Week 12 NFL prediction videos, Thanksgiving week games, and more coming up next Thursday, next Tuesday right back here. With that being said, I hope everyone had a nice day, enjoyed this video, and please remember to watch, like, subscribe, don't forget to tell your friends to do the same if they're not done seeing it already, and also hit that notification button below so you know when I upload the, the new videos on the channel. And have a nice day and stay safe. And I'll see you all next week, right back here in week 12 for NFL prediction videos. You know what to do. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out. And bye for now, everyone. Goodbye.